Hello everyone, welcome back to another Conan Exile video. My name is Hossein, but you can call me Dark Cat. I am back, but this time with the building tutorial in Conan Exile. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build and what is the new meta to build in the temples, in the jungle, or any other temple. And we're gonna see how we can build inside this 06 temple, and it's gonna work on any other temple. So let's jump to it so for the start i built some examples inside to talk about it for the start so we know all that the few recent patches they nerf the gate frames as you can see that black ice reinforced wooden gateway have 140k hp so that means it's get nerfed around 60k hp it was around 200 so and the gate have 65k hp so this gonna helps you to think about because the gate have four entrance two big one and two small ones so how we're gonna protect it so i'm gonna talk about the small ones because they are the easy ones as you can see i blocked it with two gate because each one have 140k and four reinforcement fence foundation on the bottom so i'm gonna show you the example how i build it all you need to do is to just put one exactly in the middle one on the right again one in the middle one on the left and all you need to do now to put one gate on the left one gate on the right so what is this idea about so this is like old times this didn't change because you still can use these gates you can mesh it half the gate is in the wall as you can see so this is preventing these gates to get damaged so i'm gonna test it quite fast i'm gonna go to ghost mode so i'm going outside and we're gonna test on this gate so as you can see this gate have 34k hp so i'm gonna put as much as bomb as i can in this gap like enemy cannot dam put more bombs here as you can see i'm gonna go, go even in fly mode to put even more bombs so we put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 bombs. The gate was 134 HP, 134K. And you can see 133K. So the gates are not getting damaged. I told you the reason because half of the gate is inside the mesh. So that, that's how you block the small entrance. Same as here. Half, half. So I'm gonna remove it now to go inside so this idea the only bad thing about this idea is your base not gonna be connected so this and this gonna be not connected to the whole base but you can connect these gates to this gate so i'm gonna remove all of them i'm gonna build it again for you it's the idea was just to show you the drawbridge is 75k so completely trash need to remove all and i'm gonna now remove everything also the top so it's also the ceiling i'm gonna talk about later i was just checking how it's gonna be for in the future so i'm gonna remove all these gates and give you the idea how i was building here so all you need to do is to start with from here with three foundation i'm gonna remove everything all these foundations because uh, this also you can connect it together so i'm gonna start with three foundation exactly start from here so it's line up with this with this rock one two three so it's exactly lining up you need to be careful you put two each side like this so you need to be two foundation to be able to put these gates and why are you asking that i'm putting these gates like this uh, vertical not horizontal so the idea is to stack as much as gates as you can in this entrance that enemy cannot bomb it quite fast because these gates have around 200k durability as you can see um, it's fine you can put these gates like this then you can stack it up again one in the middle it's a little bit tricky to build these gates so you need to find the uh, the angle in the middle just gonna walk around changing position constantly come on okay one in the middle here and one in the middle here so this is how it's gonna look like you spam gates otherwise you put the gate the other way around and put one gate frame that is easy readable you can spam gates like this each gate have 140k hp you can see it's a lot of them an enemy cannot pass through this so they have to bomb this and the idea you're gonna say dark they can just bomb through these gates inside that's correct you that's why you need to 
block with the gates so all you need to do put the gate remove the disable auto close open it next gate auto close open it and next gate auto close opening you do it for all quickly and i'm gonna show you what was the reason for doing this we are almost done this is over as well and i cannot put the gate here so it doesn't matter maybe here i need to block it kinda yeah it can okay perfect so this is the idea that it's blocking also the gaps is pretty nice you just need to also block these gaps up here you can put it with pillar ceiling rooftop anything you want it's just the idea to block this and now this gate's not getting open or close anyway then you're gonna have just a chest with the repair stuff and you're just gonna repair anyone who's raiding you is not gonna have enough space outside to put a lot of bomb so you just need to make build more so the idea to reinforce this you can reinforce it with many ways first of all you need to reinforce the foundations with the fence foundation then you can spam pillars kinda in the middle the best way is to build with triangle foundations in front so i'm choosing the triangle foundation spamming in front of it and uh, the idea is to just uh, also uh, spam as much as you can in front of these gates because this is your two weakness of the base you can also spam the the fence foundation between as you can see make sure you spam also between each triangle foundation need to be one of these fence foundations then you're gonna put a pillar in the middle of each then you're gonna again build the fence foundations and all again and you just continue doing it you know so this idea will helps you to each pillar is 100k each fence foundation is 90k and each foundation is 100k and you can spam as much as you want in the middle and you have a pretty safe base now you may ask Clark, at how i go inside my base because you're gonna build the same in this entrance because you're just gonna follow the foundation from here and then you go you got the foundations again here and it's connected to the other gates and you're gonna do it again so it's just like the same you just spam it again and it's gonna be like the other entrance as well so you're gonna have kind of a base looking like inside like this and how you're gonna go inside all you need to have is a sorcery transportation in the middle right now i don't have it unlocked and you can go inside and outside with your sorcery tr transportation and you, then you can remove the portal before the raid time and here is closed as well the only bad idea is you cannot have a map room inside that's why you're gonna build your map room down there and you're gonna have a horizontal elevator i mean no you don't need elevator because you cannot go into the base that's right you're just gonna have your map room your playground built here as well in front and make sure you also build the gaps on the top it's very important as you can see i can uh, i can put bombs through these gaps inside you can see i can put bombs through these gaps so all you need to do is to just spam a lot of foundation rooftops anything on top just build i i don't need to show any extra tricks for the top because there is nothing really special so here to build the top it's very important to have uh, you measure the foundation one two three four five you need to have five foundation high so it's not connected to this layer out the gates then you're gonna start building the ceilings like this and and you just go you just go all around if you need the stability you just need to connect a pillar to the to the texture i'm just gonna connect pillars uh, all over around i mean I'm gonna connect the pillars somewhere like this i'm not gonna put a pillar in the middle because it's gonna take a space i connect the pillar like that that gives me stability that i want to keep going around i'm just gonna finish the ground quick
so the roof is finished as you can see we have a plenty of space here but information that i need to give you this is the first floor gonna be only your repairing floor so i'm just gonna don't build it this here we're gonna need one more ceiling on top of this and you're gonna go again around so i'm gonna just build it quickly do you know why because the first floor need to be your repair floor because just in case if anything managed to come into your base i know now right now you have less space to put your benches to put everything you have in the base but this is safe so all you need to have here in this repair floor is to have a chest with a lot of repair mats and you're gonna splash the repair hammer all around the floor if you are getting arrow rated or if they putting bombs on those gates you need to be very careful to activate it or if they come in you can just take your hammer and remove all the gates from up you can see you can remove them because they can put bombs on top of the gates and that is not what you want them to do because if they stack bombs up there they can one shot your ceiling so careful and the other thing you need to put around gonna be your anti climbs this half anti climbs not the not the big ones the half anti climbs because you can go around them like you can walk through them so i'm gonna put anti climbs all around this uh, this floor this repair floor why because for example if they arrow rate and if they remove this fence and if you have this anti climb around they cannot walk up there and come here and come up because you have anti climb all around and this is pretty smart move to do it on your base and it helps you to have a very safe base and this gonna be your repair ground and then you are gonna go and this top gonna be your full base so i'm gonna finish the building the ceiling on top here so perfect this is all the spot you have for your benches it's gonna be quiet uh, enough i think for your base you can see i have a lot of uh, space over here i mean i'm just gonna put some benches quick uh, just some big benches you can see you can put these uh, calderons all over the place you can have even your uh, i think big calderon somewhere should be a space for it i think yeah, we haven't managed to put the big calderon here you can put the blacksmith the armorer and the rest you can just fix it with like some pillars and stuff like that and make sure you close the uh, everything on top so i think this was the building tutorial in the jungle temple this is quite hard to raid as you are online to defend it for sure you cannot say it that it was easy that if you are offline and people are raiding it of course there is so much time for me to explain all around how you're gonna build i'm gonna show you one more uh, tip around the base and that's gonna be the end of the video so for around your base if you want to make it anti trebuchet that i forgot to explain you guys if you have all this three angle foundation around you're just gonna go around like you have a platform to walk around the temple you need to have these hatch frames around your base like two three even four layer all around you're gonna put four anti climbs around it so enemy cannot like kind of climb like this like this yes and you're putting rooftop in the middle of it so if enemy using a trebuchet from from there that's the location one of those rock or that rock that's the best location enemy can put trebuchet and they're gonna make a trap and they're gonna they need to destroy here one anti climb 70k uh, one rooftop 70k second anti climb and a hatch frame that is 70k so this gonna helps your base look pretty cool and i'm gonna put more triangle foundations here and you can see that you can put even more hatch frames here and it's gonna look very cool and sick so this was the whole idea about building on the jungle temples you can use these tricks on all the temples i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial video if i miss anything or if there is any other new pieces in the bazaar the op building that have more hp than these gates make sure you put it down in the comments thank you guys for watching i will see you all in the next video Thank you.